Oh hey, didn't see you there. Do you want to learn how to develop film? Oh, it just so happens that we got some film right here. Okay, but first of all, what do you need to develop film? These are some of the supplies you're gonna need to develop your own film in your own bathroom. I'll leave a link in the description on all the supplies from Amazon that you can buy to get all this stuff from. And some of this stuff you might have laying around the house. So first of all, you're gonna need a developing tank. This is for two reels. You can see in here, two plastic reels right here. One, two, three chemical storage bottles. So these would be pretty cheap on Amazon. Plastic gloves. <laughs> we got a funnel, thermometer, a squeegee, a small bucket like this, just to hold your chemicals while you warm them up. And of course, your C41 powder chemical kit. So this is for one liter. They don't sell the one liter kit anymore. They only sell the two liter kit. I'm just gonna show you how to develop it with my instructions, but it's gonna be only just a little bit different. You're just, just gonna have a little bit more of the same stuff. Once you got all that stuff, we're gonna move on to what you should be wearing when you're developing film. All right, let's do it. Hey, quiet down, recording something. All right, so this guy's wearing shorts. Definitely do not wanna wear shorts. I will try wearing pants next time. This is looking better. Pants are looking good. Maybe a little long sleeve. All right, let's just say your nice little box of Amazon Prime that you just ordered with all your developing stuff just came in the mail. This is what you do. First off, you got all your supplies in here, everything that you need. This is the first thing you do. This is a powder C41 kit, and you open this up, but this is what you're really gonna need right here. This tells you how to do all the mixing and all the developing. So this first page, it tells you to first mark your containers clearly. So you're gonna get your, get your Sharpie, and on, your, on three of your containers, you're gonna mark, probably on the side, right, developer, you can see that. On the next one, right, Blix, I turn the B-L-I-X, Blix. And on the third one, right, stabilizer. All right, put on your gloves, grab your containers, and throw them inside your bucket here. And I'm gonna go into the bathroom and do the next step in there. Let's do it. Okay, this step and the next step are all gonna take place in the bathroom. So you're gonna be in here for a long time, maybe 40 minutes to an hour. I would say get some music going, maybe eat a couple of snacks before you put your gloves on. But for the mixing step, this is what you're gonna need first. You're gonna need your storage container marked developer on top. And then you're gonna need your thermometer and a funnel. Okay, start off by warming up your water to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's something like 112, 108, it's gonna be fine, it'll, it'll work okay, as long as it's not like 120, 130. Once that is around 110, you're gonna fill up your bottle to however many milliliters it says on your instructions. For the one liter kit, it says 800, but for the two liter kit, it might say something like 1600 or maybe even 1800 milliliters. Just follow your instructions. They will give you instructions that are very clear. Okay, next, you're gonna pour your powder kit that is marked developer on it. And so I've already done this step a long time ago, so I don't have the powder kit with me anymore, but this is what you would be doing. You'd be pouring in your developer while, while stirring it, while stirring it, while stirring, and then fill it up to the top. So in this case, it'd be one liter, but for the two liter kit, you would then fill it up to two liters. Mix the chemicals around and then let that sit off to the side. And then you do the same thing for the next chemical, so your Blix. Whatever one you mark as Blix, you're gonna get that one next. And then, because you can see I've already done this one, it's gonna be a kind of reddish, orangish color at first, and it's gonna smell really foul. So make sure you keep the fan on, and the uh, maybe if you have a window open, keep that open, or a door open, keep that open. So, with your Blix, with your Blix, make sure you do the same thing, so 800 milliliters. All right, funnel with your Blix A powder. You're gonna pour Blix A in. Pour Blix A in, stirring. Okay, and I'm gonna pour Blix B out. Blix B goes in, into the same into the same bottle. All right. Okay. Funnel out. 
give that maybe a little stir in just a little bit, and then fill that one up to two liters or one liter. Okay, and that is your Blix. You set that off to the side. Next, you're gonna have your stabilizer. This is your stabilizer. The stabilizer will be a clear solution. In this case, I've used it many, many, many times and it's getting a little bit foggy, a little bit cloudy. Same thing. With your stabilizer, you don't need it to be 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Room temperature water is just, is just perfectly fine. You could do maybe 800, 900 milliliters or just maybe a little less than two liters if you're doing a two liter kit. Put the funnel in, grab your powder and labeled stabilizer, pour that in, same thing. Stirring a little bit as that powder goes in. Funnel out. You fill it up with room temperature water. Up to one liter or two liters. Take that around. Put that off to the side. Now that you have your developer and you got your stabilizer, now we're gonna have to warm those chemicals up. So let's do that right now. So on your instructions, they have processing for a hand tank and processing for a rotary tube. This is for a, a hand tank, so we're gonna be following the instructions for that. Let's warm our chemicals up and then we're gonna do these steps. We're gonna get this water to about 130, 135 degrees Fahrenheit because we're gonna fill this tank up with water. We're gonna let our developer warm up inside of this bath and we're gonna let our Blix also warm up inside this bath. So you want it to be a little bit more than 102 degrees Fahrenheit because it will warm up faster that way. But let's get this water to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is how I get my bathroom light proof. First off, close the door. And this seam at the bottom, we're gonna have to take a towel We're gonna just throw it along the bottom there. Make sure you press in nice and firm. Make sure all those seals. Once you have that towel along the bottom, we're gonna actually have to be sitting right here on this ledge. And when I sit here, I have this right behind me, like so. So you see how much darker it gets when I'm behind here? Because if there's any light that's coming through, it's gonna be blocked by this, by this right behind me. Good. Now let's check it out. Turn this on. That looks pretty dark to me, I don't know about you. This entire process that I'm gonna do, you're gonna to have to do all this in the dark. While your chemicals are soaking in that 120, 125 water bath, we're gonna do probably the hardest part, which is loading your film in the dark. You're gonna take your developing tank, lid off. This portion keeps whatever's inside light proof and this portion keeps whatever's inside light proof and waterproof. So we're gonna take that, both pieces off. We're gonna take the reels out. If you're developing two 35 millimeter reels, then you're gonna leave it at this length. And if you're developing 120 film, you're gonna have to adjust the length of the reel by finding the little notches here by the ball bearings and pushing the right side away from you and pulling out until you find the one, two, three, third notch right there and then pull it towards you. That's 120 width right there. I wanted to demonstrate on a 120 roll because this is all I had. The insides look very similar. There's a reel right here bundled up right on the inside and it's gonna have a little notch on this end for your 35 millimeter. Once you have your bathroom light proof and you have the towel underneath the door, you have the lights off and you're well adjusted to light inside the bathroom. First thing I like to do is sit right here and put the curtain behind me so any light doesn't come through and hit me from my back. And you're gonna take your 35 millimeter roll. Once you're in the dark, you can take your gloves off. This, this part is gonna be very sensitive. You're gonna have to feel it very well. So I recommend maybe trying it with an old roll before you go in the dark and just do it with your eyes closed and just 
feeling this process. What you're going to have to do is open up this roll with your hands. So inside the dark, you'll put your fingernail in between here and just pry this right open. It should open up pretty easily. It's just aluminum right here. You just pull that open. And once this is wide open, you'll see the film inside and you'll have to unravel it all, unravel it all until you get to the back portion here. And then, and then make sure you have all your stuff with you inside the dark or else you're gonna have to uh, restart. With your scissors, you're going to feel, eyes closed, you're going to feel for that notch right here. And you're gonna have to cut, cut off that notch right there. So that's about right here. Feel that. Take your scissors. Just like that. Okay, and then same thing on the back. You, this is gonna be attached with um, tape, I'd say, for a 120 roll. And for a 35 millimeter roll, you can just rip this piece off like this and pull the tape off. And then that roll you can discard or you can keep it, but you're not gonna need it anymore. So now you have your big roll, it's gonna be all bundled up like this probably. You have to find the flat end. And now inside the dark, you're going to feel for the notches on the plastic roll with your hands right here. These notches. And you want to keep it right there. And you're going to line up the film with the notches like, sit like this. Just like that. And feed it all the way through past the bearings. And then you're gonna rotate your right side just like this. Once it's on the reel, all you have to do is just keep cranking this like that. And it will automatically roll inside of the roll until you're done. And you'll have a little bit hanging off here. You should cut off that small portion that's at the very last end of the roll. Just make it flush. And so once you have your roll all reeled up inside the dark, you're gonna take your reel, put it onto the black tube like this so that the flat base is at the bottom. And then you're gonna grab your developing tank. Don't put it inside like this, but instead have the base at the bottom, all right? If you do it the other way around, it's not gonna be light proof anymore. And it's not gonna get your chemicals soaked properly. Reel goes in, the first lid goes on top. Okay, make sure you hear that click. That's gonna be in all the way. And at this point, it's light proof. So then after that's all sealed up, you can turn on the lights. And we're gonna do the next step. So I just loaded my film into the film tank right here. So as you can see, I opened up the 35 millimeter can right here. And I cut off that little notch right here. And then on the back end as well, this is the back end of the spool. You can see I cut off that notch right here too. I got two rolls of 35 in here. And so now we're gonna actually mix the chemicals into the tank and get them into some film negatives that we can actually see with our eyes. Let's do it. Gloves back on and let's get our funnel. And if you have a stopwatch, put on a stopwatch. Gloves back on. Okay, step one, pre-soak. Time, one minute. Temperature, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I'm gonna turn the water on to 102. All right, watch and learn. First lid off, keep this one on. Always keep this one on. One minute. Starting the timer for one minute. And it goes. Let it sit for one minute. Okay, one minute is up. Let's take it off. All right, that's perfectly normal. Sometimes when you do 120 film, that initial color will be green. Step two, developer, 3.5 minutes. 102 degrees Fahrenheit. We grab our bucket again. 
Remember our developer and Blitzer in here? We're going to check the temperature of it. Always check your temperature right before you put in your chemicals. That's about 106. So I'm going to let that cool down for maybe five minutes or so. And then we're going to go ahead and pour that in. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. This is at a good temperature. And then we're going to pour this into here for three and a half minutes. I like to start my timer once all of the solution is inside of the container. All right, let's do it. take the agitation stick and we just stick it right in the middle of the ball until it clicks and so turn it right and left rotate it right and left for the first 15 10 seconds and then after that we do four inversions every 30 seconds put the liquid proof lid on just knock off the bubbles not too hard you don't want to crack the bottom okay 30 seconds four of these one Two, three, four. That developer is done. We don't need to use this anymore. But do save it for future film developing. Obviously, don't throw this stuff away. Step three, Blix. Six and a half minutes, 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Got our Blix right here, 104.5, six and a half minutes. Let's restart our timer here. Agitate with the stir rod for about 10 seconds, starting that timer. Alright, it's been about six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it back. Okay, now for step four, we're going to do the wash. Three minutes at 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just running water. All right. Okay, that's uh, at about 102 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna go ahead and let that soak with running water for about three minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Okay, step five, stabilizer. 30 seconds to one minute at room temperature. We're gonna stir it 15 seconds. Okay, now we're going to pour this back into here. Now we take our squeegee, because now we can open up the lid and we can view the negatives. Alright, looks good, looks good. Pull this out. Start at one end, squeegee the whole thing. Drying will usually take around 45 minutes to an hour, but just make sure it's in an, a clean, dust-free environment. Okay. Editing Jerry right here, I see a little problem with that drying technique. First off, when you curl your film around this bar right here, it creates curvature.
curvature in your film and you don't want to do that. So here's a new, better drying technique. So what we want to do is take one of these binder clips and just put it over a hanger like that and take the side of film, this is important, the side, the first frame where there's no film on it, no emulsion, right here, you want to clip that because the part where you clip it, it's going to be ruined. And so this part has no information, no pictures, so it's fine if it gets ruined. So clip that onto there, okay? And you see it's, it's still curling a little bit. It's still curling like that. And so what you want to do is put another clip at the end. And so this is, this is already cut, but you want to have the entire roll, the entire roll 24 or entire roll of 36, all one length. You don't want to be putting these clips on the end of your film like so. You see there's a frame right there. I wouldn't want to put it like that because now that portion where the clip is touching the film, that portion is going to be ruined. It's gonna look really weird once it's drying. It's not gonna have the same kind of texture as the rest of that picture. So make sure when you put the clips on, you put it on the part of the film that you don't mind if it gets ruined, okay? But this film uh, has already been scanned, so I can do whatever I want with it. Make sure it's nice and flat. Nice and flat, just like that. Perfect. Thank you.